Hello! I'm making this video just to document my um, journey in my first game jam. Uh, I've started learning Unity about maybe six to eight months ago. I did no previous training. Coding is new to me. And game design in general, really. Uh, but I decided to take part in the Wowee Jam 3. Um, yeah, this is how it went. The theme of the jam was failure is progress. From this theme I came up with four separate ideas. I was just um, actually looking at uh, random words generators just to come up with some ideas to just spark something. In the end I came up with a comedian game where you're a hungry comedian who's trying to tell bad jokes so that people will throw food at you. I wasn't really sure how that would work out so then I thought a scientist sort of engineer who's working for these evil guys and you're secretly trying to thwart their plans by, you know, making a Death Star with a hole in it that can get so it can get blown up, you know. Yeah, in the end that got me thinking, what what if I just make it a little bit more close to Earth? Well, if it's just an office job, you don't want to be the best because you don't want to stand out. And you obviously don't want to be the worst because you'll get fired. So what if it's just like a frantic office game where you're trying to work but not work too well because you don't... Um, get noticed because you're, you know, socially anxious or, or whatever reason. Uh, and I just went with that. I just thought that that's it. That sounds easy enough. I think I can do that in the time given. So let's just let's just start. So I painted the parts of the character, the main player, um, separate in separate sections. Uh, this meant that I could animate e each of the sections. And uh, I have this sort of animation going in my um, game laser ball, um, so I'm used to it, and it's just I know what I'm doing when I'm just moving bits about in, in the in the inbuilt animator in Unity. So I painted all the other assets, um, the other characters that you're competing against, the employees, and the backgrounds and everything like that. Implemented a very quick um, side scrolling movement. So Saturday I didn't do much for the game because it was just a pack day. I was playing Dungeons and Dragons all day from 11 in the morning till I ended up going to bed at like 2 a.m. Okay, so it says I got eight skill ranks, whatever that means. I tried to secretly do some game dev on the side, but um, that didn't really work out. It's just a bit slow and unproductive, so I wouldn't have to do nearly the entirety of the game on the Sunday. So in the morning of Sunday, I got up, uh, attended online church until 12, and then had a bit of time to work on the game, um, where I started um, just typing out lots of messy code just to get things working and just see it see it there on the screen. Um, went shopping for food then halfway through the day so I had to quickly go before the shops closed so that took some more time. Um, but finally in the late afternoon until the evening I, I had a big chunk of time where I could just focus on on the game. So I was thinking about different game modes for the mini games. Um, I ended up coming up with just four and just leaving out that. I wasn't going to keep building more and more even though I had ideas. I was like, stick to four games, very small, very, very easy um, that you can just easily pick up and just pray like, I got the catching one where you just run around the screen catching catching the paper that's falling. I've got the phoning one you got to go pick up the phone, put down the phone. I got the stamping one where you stamp papers and the typing one where you just type away. With the leaderboard where you've got your competing employees, you're trying to stay in the middle of them basically, you're trying to stay in mediocre. You don't want to be the best, you don't want to be the worst. 
Uh, at this point, the game is actually feeling pretty dull. Um, it's 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 okay at first when you're you're typing away or you're stamping away or phoning, but when when it gets to the point where your your points are too high or you're, they're just perfect, you just basically I found all I was doing was just standing there, not doing anything because I didn't want to get a higher score than anyone else. So the chat chat with my wife and we suggested we came up with the idea of what about if you could lose points so I added just two actually uh, for the calling one the phoning one when it tells you to phone you either go to your desk and phone and, you, and your points rack up or you could go over to your table with your mobile on and call someone on your mobile and makes your points go down uh, and similarly the typing one you can type on your computer to get your points up uh, get higher on the leaderboard or you could go and text on your phone and it will make your, your points go down. This actually worked really well because it really increased the frantic nature of the game where you're jumping from side to side from the screen um, going from your desk to your your mobile and you're going back and forth back and forth and, and, and as, as, a th as the different uh, instructions are flashing up on the screen and it's um, got that nice hectic atmosphere. Um, It got to 3 a.m. and I was just, I couldn't go on any longer. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to go to sleep, get the rest done on the day um, before the deadline. It's 9.30. I just got up and make myself a cup of tea and some cheese on toast. On the game, I set a timer that counted down until we got to win and lose conditions. So implemented all of that. You get a lose screen if you lose, if you did too well or if you did too badly. Uh, and a win screen if you did mediocre. Um, implemented a really jammily mashed up tutorial page and UI. And I was like, man, this is getting to, you know, it's it's like an hour, two hours, 50, 30 minutes before the deadline. I've got to do this. And I was just frantically just trying to get it to get mash it all together. It was a mess, but it was fun. <laughs> It had tons of bugs, it has tons of bugs, but I'm, I'm happy I got it done. It was, it's a real good experience. Uh, I found some music online and just chucked that into the game and just got it compiled um, with minutes to spare. <laughs> uh, oh goodness, I hope this works. It's not working. Um, I tried to implement WebGL so it could be played on the actual website rather than having to download it, but I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Let's let's try WebGL. Wait a minute. Oh, for goodness sake, I've got to install it. Luckily, I uploaded the um, just the file, straight file first. Right. How does this work? Yes. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Yeah, that's it. I'm really proud of what I've done. Managed to do, to do a game in less than 24 hours, really. I mean, it's not a good game, but it's, it's a little gimmicky thing, and it's it's not about the quality of the game, really. It's more about the experience. The experience of just going from start to finish in a very quick amount of time, just creating a game. And I'm really happy with the results. Check it out on my itch.io page. I'll have a link in the description if you wanted to try it out. Um, that's it. So hope you have a good day. Yeah, see you around.